Hey everyone, Spider-Man 1 here, where today I'm going to be doing another graphic novel review. But this time it's going to be two volumes of the same series, and it's Robin. Uh, this is the series of Tim Drake as Robin. Pretty much volume, volume 1 kicks off with two story arcs collected from Bat one from Batman and one from Detective Comics, both lead both leading up to the finale in the in the Detective Comics arc where Bat where Tim finally puts on the Robin costume. And the first arc involves and the first arc involves Tim Drake uh meeting it <clears throat> uh figuring out that anarchy is linked to a bunch of digital robberies created by this created by someone known as Money Spider and Tim figures out that it's Lonnie Macklin, aka Anarchy. And while Tim figures this out, Batman deals with trying to save Tim's parents when they're abducted by a voodoo cult in Haiti, which ultimately leads to the death of Tim's mom and his father going into a coma. The next arc, <clears throat> and the other arc that takes place in Detective Comics, yep, Bat <clears throat> Vicky Vale and Batman are captured by the Scarecrow, and Tim, against Batman's orders, decides to go into the field and rescue them. Although when Tim does this, he's not wearing the Robin suit. And after he saves Batman and Vicky Vale and Scarecrow's defeated, Batman asks him why he did this, and Tim said he didn't want to screw up or ruin the legacy of Robin. And Batman decides, okay, you're ready for the suit. And he presents Tim with the brand new Ro Robin suit, which you can get a better view of right here than on Volume 1. Um, and... After Tim gets the and after Tim finally gets the Robin suit, Batman decides to send him, decides that he should continue his training abroad and learn some martial arts skills, which is the which is the plot line of the first Robin solo series featuring Tim Drake. And while Tim is abroad, he he crosses paths with longtime Batman foe Lady Shiva and a new character, the crime lord known as King Snake, who's the head of the Ghost Dragons gang. Okay. That was volume two, uh, volume one, volume two, sorry, volume two opens up with Robin dealing with the return, dealing with the return of King Snake, who survived his encounter with Robin and Lady Shiva, but he's now blind, and King Snake is also trying to set up his drug operation in Gotham City, and that's pretty much told in few, and some issues of Batman, of the Batman title. Next up, we have, next, the volume two also collects the next two Robin solo solo miniseries. The set, the next Robin solo series called entitled Ro Robin Two Joker. Yeah, just Robin Two has Tim confront has Tim dealing with the Joker who's escaped from Arkham Asylum just as Batman is out of town. So not only does Tim have to confront the guy who killed the last Robin, but he has to do it without Batman's help. And finally, the last solo series has Robin teaming up with Huntress to take down a Russian gang, while also Tim ha Tim is slowly dealing with the issue of trying to hide his costume life from his father and his and the print teachers and counselors at school who assume that something who assume that something is up with Tim because he's come to school with bruises on his face and everything. Okay, and those are pretty much the basic plots of what happens in the. In the first two volumes of the Robin series. Now, okay, I was excited when the, when these were announced. Announced, I was because to me, Tim Drake is the most interesting Robin. Uh, he spent most of his career his com, com, his career as a crime fighter as Robin, and and you know I think all and you know if I was ever going to judge the Robin, all the Robins that Batman's had based on solely their time time as Robin, I would say Tim would be the best. I mean, obviously, we're not going to use just Robin. Otherwise, I'd say Dick Grayson's the best. But Tim has the Tim has the most interesting story as Robin. Um, <clears throat> you know, because Tim he got Tim was introduced at a time where characters and comics were really starting to have their backgrounds expanded and give him more depth, and that allowed Tim to, Tim to use the Robin role to grow as more than just Batman's sidekick. And another interesting aspect is despite that we see in volume at the beginning of volume two when King Snake returns is that despite all of Tim's training and getting prepared, Batman is still overprotective of him because of what happened to Jason Todd. And my favorite story in out of the two volumes is the second Robin solo series when he confronts Joker by himself. Because 
to me that was like to me that was probably Tim's real baptism of fire fighting dealing with the man who killed the last kid who wore the costume before him without the help of his mentor I mean that was a very well done story and I enjoyed it and I enjoyed it and I think anyone who likes Tim Drake is really going to love that story um, my only regret about the about these series I mean I'm glad we're getting uh, the Robin series reprinted. My only regret is that Volume 1 does not include the story arc A Lonely Place of Dying, which was when Tim first appeared, and it's it's also the story arc where he tries to remind Bruce Wayne that he needs a Robin. He tries to get Dick Grayson to come back to Gotham, but Dick will only help Batman as Nightwing, and that's also the first story arc where Tim wears the original Robin suit when Batman and Nightwing are captured by Two-Face. So... <clears throat> So it is a little disappointing that they didn't include A Lonely Place of Dying in this in this collection, but these are still very nice volumes, and anyone who's a Tim Drake fan should definitely check these out. Overall, um, I think Tim Drake is an awesome character. He is... Recently, though, in DC Comics, I feel like he's been overlooked a lot um, ever since he became... Well, not... Probably since the beginning of the New 52. It feels like Tim's kind of taken a background been pretty much put on the back burner of the other Robins but but you know so you know it's nice that we're getting these reprints to remind us how awesome Tim is as Robin and why he was probably one of the best characters to wear to wear the Robin suit all right so that's it so that's it for me thank you again for watching these videos what you guys th think think uh, do you agree or disagree with anything I said let me know in the comments below uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Whether you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber, I appreciate your support. I'm Spider-Man1991 saying, see you later.